or do you think people go to work for free these days? You see, we've not got to Zeitgeist yet. I don't even know why you're talking about Zeitgeist. Because money is part of the problem. The guy probably, I'm assuming, I'm assuming, has got some financial difficulties that puts him in a certain mental spiritual state already so when she says oh blah 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 fuck off which guy are you talking about man? the guy on the bike yeah right. just like me could be me but you know it's an assumption that he's not working and if he's not working he's got some problems already so her saying that is just a tiny little trigger because he's already not happy and he hasn't got um, a remedy what? whatever to him you know cursing him out and, 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 and embarrassing him. It's a small thing. Nobody else really took that. Well, I suppose I took it to heart in a kind of way, but only so I can use it to explain what the general problem is. Right. The general problem is general, the, general the, the, the character of, of Englishmen well, has diminished. You're, you're, the character, the national character. The, the, you're the, you're the, being Jeremy Carl now. I am, I suppose. <laughs> but um, I'm not trying to do it in a way where, you know, he's just a bad guy because he reacted violently, or she's just a bad... No, I'm saying we all suffer this problem. Yeah, The solution needs to be gotten to. I'm not really bothered who's right or who's wrong in that situation, um, more so than them accepting for themselves what they need to do for themselves in order that they don't react like that. For example, if you're stable in your life, if you've got a job, a steady nine to five, those people that like that feel stable and secure. People who are on the benefits and having a benefits cut, you're not gonna feel stable and secure. And we know that benefits are designed to keep people stable and secure because they're the most vulnerable. And when we've got a society that doesn't value the most vulnerable, we've got an ethical problem here, a moral problem here. And morals and so, ethics so you say, apply to everybody. Now, why is it that young couples... Because ethics and morals covers a wide base. When I say God, Ten Commandments, is the ethics and morals. There's many ways of saying what the problem is, but the problem really is. There's not enough love, genuine love, and recognising that when we're in error thought, error consciousness, how to get out of error consciousness? Because error consciousness is a is a misnomer it makes us believe first of all i am right now there's people who've got religion and they'll they're still the same you know anybody who's not worshiping god the way they want it can get violent so it's a universal problem it doesn't matter what you think you are where, where it's the see, ability to where, control where the emotion. Do you see that happening where do you see that happening well i see it in myself I see that certain situations that used to bother me. Where else is it in? I see it in others, I see it in people like you. <laughs> you know. <I> see what? <laughs> people what finding mean? their ways to the remedy um, in their own unique divine way. No, I mean, where do you see people going out and saying it? <laughs> well, the counterculture to that is criminal behaviour. When the cops are doing their duties, their jobs, it's kind of like, I want them to feel that they could do the jobs and their duties that are the correct jobs and duties. You know, the, the save us from the real maniacs. Rather than thinking everybody's a maniac just because there's a lot of maniacs. You know? It's like saying, well, since nobody goes to church anymore, nobody believes in God. You know, those institutions... I, 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 think, it's, I, think, it's too, I think it's too easy to talk about ethics and morals and God and Jesus and, and it is. that's why I don't know. it's too easy to talk about that Yeah. and it's not easy to get down to the nitty gritty of every situation and, and, and the thing is if you're if you're having to rely on, on what you've thought about when you've read a book mm -hmm. to actually deal with real life situations then how am I better than government if I don't help? How am I better than make more sense of it when it's when it's over and done with? And um, it might give you a little bit of guidance at the time. Well, that's like asking the government to say when it's over and done with, 
Make sure that everything you did was right. Well, during the middle well, bits, is, which is, we're in, that, the living bit, well, they that, make mistakes, don't well, they? Well, isn't that exactly what causes? And did you just say before all human beings make mistakes? Well, what is this government we talk of? They're men and women who are making mistakes. And because of the way we've been taught, it's like, oh, you don't forgive a mistake. You condemn them. Throw them in jail. Hang them. Wait, 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 wait. There's direct and there's indirect responsibilities here. Some have a direct hand in it, a physical touch, and others um, got others to do it for them. So there's a transference of blame and guilt, but that means that they are not being proper leaders. They're not effective in their wisdom. And that's why the, the people at the top need replacing. The people in the middle just do as they're told, don't they? Because the way they've been taught, they just obey and follow orders. The orders are given by the people oh, at the top. Sure you got onto this now. Because until we put ourselves at, at the level of top responsibility, there's no way we can really justify expecting the kinds of changes needed for, to, to, to fix all these problems. Go back to what you said before. Every individual really, has really, their responsibility really, daily. Yeah, yeah, so rewind, hang on, hang on a minute. You know, what if you can't be in concert with yourself, which most people can't, right. if, they're, if they're really honest about it. Yeah. Then, you know... It's what you it, said. Because you're pretty much disabled by a lot of things. Not having enough yes. is disabling. Yeah. Mentally, physically, and spiritually disabled people exist. That's why, and, and well, that's why that's why money exists, though, because it's a it's just a control mechanism. That's all it is. It's a control mechanism. It has two uses. It has one that it controls, and one that it gives access to. Now the problem is, is that people don't have a lot of it. So therefore, they're starting to some ponder and wonder about their society. Is it really some enough? People, some people have a lot of it. Some people have enough of it. Yeah. Some people don't have enough of it, and and it makes life a struggle, or or, or they make their, they make life difficult for themselves because you know people make life difficult for themselves because they think that they can. I think it's all that. I think people lot, just make lot, things lot difficult people. for themselves. The government. Um, just falls into that. We've already made it difficult for ourselves when we gave up ethics, morals, and values um, on, on a, on a, on a cultural level. For everyone to make as many mistakes as they can. Uh, which yeah, but do you not try and stop making those mistakes? But, but that's, that's learning, isn't it? That's learning at the same time. Learning is not making a mistake. Not learning is just keep yeah. making mistakes. That's the thing. So there's a lot of people who call themselves learned, but keep making mistakes it, over and over. And it's caused say, because their emotions. I'd say learning is a good, if, if you let go of what learning is, which is a continuum, you know what I mean? It never stops and it's constant. It's it is. I'm going all the time. Yeah. And that's why the bell curve that... Um, well, learn, learning is, is, is well, when you learn something, it, it's, it's usually... On a, on a personal level, it's like, how does it, you know, does it affect you in a good way or in a bad way, do you know mm -hmm. what I mean, and stuff, and, mm -hmm. and it's, it gets down to that simple. Which is what we call wisdom, but when you try to define what wisdom is, because what people in this country need, they need wisdom, they need um, their character flaws, identifying, they need to do this for themselves, nobody should have to do this for them, that's why I don't get involved in someone else's argument, because they're gonna to have to resolve their character flaws. They're the ones living together. They're the ones have to make the compromise. If you can't agree to be in a relationship, how are you gonna to go to court and agree with strangers? It's all fake, it's all put on, you know, because all these strangers can lock me up. That's why I say the remedies that people are talking about, if you're not a genuine person who genuinely does good anyway, say you're a person who wants to use these things to just get away with crimes, it's not for that. It's not for that. What, what, what's not for that? These remedies. What remedies? The remedies such as, you know, um, statutory declarations, etc., etc. Prove it. Going to court and, 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 and manipulating um, with, with just words alone and saying, I am not that person. You know, that, that, that's a legal fiction. Which is, you know, come on. 
You spend 10 years arguing about whether you're a legal fiction or not just because you're in trouble with the court. If it's really such a case of, you know, we need to fix the problem of legal fictions, then why wait till you're called to court to do it? In the same way, like, when you finish going to court now and they're not after you, are you still interested in that information? What's this got to do with anything? <laughs> Everything is to do with everything, yeah? Being a good person, having laws, having the Ten Commandments, having uh, government laws, having du et mon droit represent the court. If you see the court... How many people actually think like that or are ever going to actually think like that? Well, there's a few. I mean, Habus thinks like that. To be honest with you, you know, you get... Darren DOJ thinks like that. All of that stuff is just a big fucking fiction anyway. But fiction is useful to tell parables and to tell tales of morality because when you talk about human being if i say you 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 all the time you could put up a barrier emotionally because you don't like yourself being the guilty wrong person but if you talk a parable and you just talk about two anybody's two people that nobody knows we've invented them but they had this situation and we learn from that situation do do this or don't do that that's the moral of the tale yeah well, it's, 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 That's it's, the power it's, of myth. It's, it's called playing with an idea. And so if myth has a power... Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. It's called playing with an idea. It's just it's just setting out the pieces of a game yeah. and saying that this, this isn't, you know, this is, this is just a hypothetical game situation and this is, this is what can happen and stuff. In a way, well, this exemplifies why their myth has some power. Because the myth is pertaining to the set of right and wrong actions expected of a human being living in a society and a culture that responds to words like money and bills, etc, etc. And as you begin to question that whole platform, I don't want everybody to think there's, there's do what you want. It's just like, let, let's be all irresponsible. No, if you're going to say, we, we're not under that anymore, as babies, you're still under it as an adult. If you say to your kids, put your seatbelt on, then you as the adult, don't put your seatbelt on. What's that? What's that? Just because we want to be right all the time or we want to be cool and I'm a free man, I don't wear no seatbelt. Kids wear your seatbelt because I don't want you to get hurt. But in terms of, you know, some other guy coming, reminding me and saying, put your seatbelt on or I'm going to charge you some money. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's the childish behaviour in the first place. The lack of responsibility, because not everything that people are there to do is wrong. We've got to get that in our head. Not everything. Most, well, most people couldn't give a fuck. Most people have got enough to be going on with yeah. that they've got to try and be responsible for. And they're trying to be responsible yeah. for it. So it's a fucking struggle. And, and anyone else's problem... Which is what prevents it, them from getting to this. It, it is, is, ...is somebody else's fucking problem. Let them fucking deal with it. And exactly. Sure it's and, easy. And, but if you don't fucking... If you haven't got that... Yeah. If you haven't got that ability to switch off from other people's problems, then all your life will be other people's Which problems. Which is what you said before. And that, where the fuck does that get you? Just gets you... Well, you know... <laughs> Either you turn it around and you sort people's problems out and sort your own problems out, or what? I don't know. It just yeah. didn't... so maybe that's what character is, is it? I don't know. Well, it's not. It's even just a facet of character. What is character building? What kind of situations happen to us that build our character? Every situation. Hmm. And taking the positive and the negative from all of that. Every situation, from when you're on your own to when you're with other people to when. Yeah. There's an exemplary behaviour that if we can have that behaviour with us, this is why I say Christ is a great example. Who's behaved like Christ except Christ? You why can't name fuck? a name. Why the fuck do you even bother mentioning that? I don't understand. Because everybody why. knows what I'm talking about. That's no, why. they don't. They don't because they just know what you. They they just know that you've got an idea of this thing, which okay. is like you just said that to me, and I'm thinking, well. I don't understand you because you're talking about somebody else. Talk about, you know, realistically about yourself and your own experience. We're not talking about some fucking character like Superman that somebody made up 2,000 uh, years ago so that they could fucking tax people. 